All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, turn your microphone volume up or lower it down just in case you've got some hissing or boost it or change the quality of your microphone. So what we want to do is we need to go in control panel and we need to go on the sound app. So you can either type sound and sometimes it won't pop up for you. So we'll have to go um, the long route. So just type control panel or head into your control panel. So if you got your control panel, um, your control panel will probably look like this. So you may want to change it to large or small, depending on your eyesight or what screen you've got. So basically we're looking for this one here, sound. Um, it's got a speaker icon, you can't miss it. Um, if you're in here quite a lot, you might want to uh, create a shortcut for it. So we want to go in there. Um, it always goes top left for some strange reason, I don't know why. Right, so here you'll have all your um, outputs, your playback outputs. As you can see, mine is earphones on my monitor. So we'll talk about that another time. So let's go to the recording tab. So as you can see, as I talk, my microphone um, level is going up and down. It's saying it's quiet, but um, honestly, that's how Windows uh, meters are. So you want to find the mic you're using, whether it's your headset mic or a studio mic. So you want to right mouse and you want to click properties. We'll just put this over this window so it don't confuse us. And here you'll have some information uh, about it. And then if you want to listen to yourself talk, you can click listen and apply. But uh, be warned, you might get some feedback. So we want the next tab. We want levels. So in here you'll have um, your volume for your mic. Now it's best to keep it at say between 70 and 90%. It's never a good idea to take it to 100% on um, onboard sound cards on your computer. Um, but you'll have to experiment with this. You'll have to turn it up until you um, don't hear any hissing or it's comfortable or doesn't over modulate or anything. Now sometimes you'll get another menu here, a boost menu. Now if, if it's still not loud enough and this is to a hundred and you've got a boost it's recommend you turn the boost to the first um, quarter but don't have the boost on full because it will pick up all sorts of noises and um, that's how you do that and so remember between 70 and 90 never 100 and on your boost if you've got a boost slider um, no more than at least um, 5 percent to 15 percent never 100 if you've got um, an onboard sound card and it's got software, you will see the software to control your mic down next to the um, clock as well. So look in there as well. There may be other settings that doesn't show in here. This is just for Windows default drivers. So now the quality of your mic. So if you go to advanced, you'll have um, this slider. Now this slider is always set on CD quality. Um, now your mic might not go even better than CD quality. So um, always pick the highest one for the better quality, um, depending on um, how powerful your computer f computer is. So always change that to the highest quality. Now if you want to sound like an old 60s radio, take it down to a tape recorder or even a telephone quality. That's uh, usually fun to listen to yourself on a telephone. Um, so I've been Manta, um, like, comment and subscribe, as James May would say. But he says it really weird, doesn't he? <laughs> but uh, if you don't want um, notifications of my videos, then just untick notifications. But still, subscribe. See you later. Bye-bye.